Hey everyone, it's Fred here from Helium's Bricks with a new vlog this week. So if you're new here, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, you automatically will enter into our new subscriber giveaway. So every week we do a draw where we give £25, dollars or euros, Amazon vouchers to uh, a random new uh, subscriber. So uh, that's going to be coming up later in this video in terms of picking who was last week's winner. So yeah, make sure you subscribe and maybe you make a chance of winning uh, an Amazon voucher. But uh, let's get into um, the actual vlog, right? So, hey everyone, and today has been an interesting day because we received this parcel and maybe one of you who watches this might recognize this. So we believe that this is our first kind of ever piece of fan mail. Now we haven't got an official PO box or anything, uh, but maybe it's something we might consider if people are considering doing this in the future. So let us open and see what's in here. So we'll have a look. that looks like in a nicely sealed envelope almost huh Let's see if we've got a message or not this is one of the build your own minifigures so I think this is um, someone that's on the uh, discord server I think it's party on down I believe he's based in Liverpool he he said he was gonna send it oh we have a letter whoa let's have a Let's have a look. Thank you so much. So, let's have a look. To our friend, thanks for everything you do for the LEGO community, Craig. Party on down. Thank you very much, Craig, and uh, very much appreciate it. So, this is one of those um, boxes you get in um, in some of the LEGO stores around the UK and elsewhere. They have now you build your own minifigure and you essentially they do a printed element which you can see here you got a printed thing it's actually got the name fred on it uh they definitely have this one in uh leicester square although now i think it's shut because of the upstairs floors being shut but last year when i went to liverpool i saw that they had this in liverpool as well and they were very proud of it because it was the only store inside the uk at the time that also had it except uh, leicester square so let's have a look at the minifigure oh we've got the statue of liberty head here here we go Hillian's bricks. Oh my goodness. Number one at the back. I like that. And it looks like there's another accessory here. Oh, and there's a little, little doggy balloon. Well, thank you, Craig. Uh, very much appreciate it. We're going to have to find uh, a place for this one. But yeah, didn't have to do that, but it's always appreciated. So we'll have to find a place for this one. But yeah. Here we go. This, this is the yeah, it says Lego Liverpool at the back. Now this is the one thing that bugs me about this, and I mentioned this one when we got it from the, the Leicester Square as well. My son's got one from Leicester Square one when we did our uh, eight stores in a day tour. Why have they put this on a plate of three? Now, this you know, it just bugs me. Why can't they just do four so you can sit it in the middle? It's I don't know. Let us know in the comment section what you guys think. To me, this this really irritates me, and I just don't know why. Maybe we we'll just we'll have to put a jumper plate or something. I don't know. It just it just bugs me. We could have just done a brick of four, right? But I guess it's space and money, and maybe the machine setting doesn't allow it for a, a four wide brick. Hey ho, it is what it is. But yeah, thank you very much again.
Apologies to stop you midway by looking through the pick a brick roll, but we decided to do a quick disruption because we are announcing the code for this week, for this month's giveaway uh, competition. So the code that you need to enter for this one is the code number three. So you should now have both codes from last week's vlog and this week's vlog to go and enter the competition on our website. But yeah, good luck everybody and enjoy the rest of the pick a brick roll and the rest of the vlog. So on Friday, I ended up going to the Lego store. Again, the pick a brick wall had some updates, but it was nothing with the new stuff. It was all old stuff that kind of brought back. But I did shoot a video for anyone in case our Patreon members want to uh, pick some bricks. So uh, you will have seen the, the latest uh, update there. So I had a chat with the manager in store and he was very friendly, as he always is. You know, talking about my visit to Legoland, you know, upcoming Lego Con at the time. And uh, yeah, he was uh, excited about a few things, uh, but uh, the one thing then, I was going to buy anything and I kept walking around in the store, maybe for about 10 minutes, and then I looked at the big, uh, you know, the Star Wars display case where they have the at the big one, you know, the UCS one, and then the next one they had a, a little display case of Star Wars, and then what I saw there was the last Homestead Kitchen sign saying, if you spend £160 on Star Wars, you still get this, and I was like, you still got these gift for purchases? He's like, yeah, we still do, so I'm like, hmm. It's interesting because they also had the Forest Hideout gift of purchase. So I thought maybe we need to start stacking some gift of purchases here. So in the end, I did spend £170 on Star Wars stuff. And I got a few gift of purchase and I got some uh, added surprises as well. But first of all, now I haven't got the box anymore because I gave it to my son to build on his YouTube channel. But he's built the Forest Hideout. So yeah, the forest hideout, it's quite beautiful. It, it opens up so you can see the inside and it's much bigger than uh, you would think for a gifted purchase. So beautiful looking set. In addition, also got some other gifted purchases. So got this poly bag, which seems like some random nonsense really. 30503, some duck. I did buy Star Wars, so got another one of these. So three gift of purchase already. And then, so to my surprise, he gave us another one of these as well. So I ended up walking with four gift of purchases for the spend of £170 in store in Brighton. And when he was opening the door of all the gift of purchases, I noticed something. I saw Book of Monster gift of purchases. So I was like, what about those? And he said, well, if you spend £200 on Harry Potter sets, I might give you that. So I didn't buy £200 worth of Harry Potter stuff. And it's not publicly advertised, so but they do have them in Brighton. So if you're interested in those, definitely worth asking the staff if they still have them and if they do that as a promotion. So it's not advertised. And this was the store manager I was speaking to. So maybe some of the staff don't have the liberty to give those. But what did I buy in the end? So I bought two 
of these, you know, the Death Star Trash Compactor. I've already had this before, I built this on a live stream. Great set. And the reason why I bought this is probably to part out. It's too early to invest in a set and I'm hoping at some point in August where they have the exclusivity, they might do a deal on this. So I did pay full RRP. Unfortunately, it's $79.99 and to get to this, you need to spend £160. So I did buy two, so I was 2p short. But this, the reason why I bought this for parting out is it's got all these black tiles and bricks. They sell really well. Same for the reddish brown, dark bluish grey, loads of tiles in there. And it's six minifigures, so I'm going to be parting them out. So I've got two of them. I said, here's the other one. And then as well, I just got a micro fighter. I know I probably could have bought a key ring or something, but this was the smallest price set. They didn't have the Ahsoka Tano anymore. So I thought, well, I know I can get this cheaper elsewhere, but for the fact that I was going to get the gift of purchases, that's what made me buy this stuff. So that was my visits to uh, the Brighton Lego store. Uh, he did mention as well the store manager there's probably not going to be an update to the pick a brick wall anytime soon because they got a huge backlog of stuff uh, still to put out now earlier in the week we received some boxes as well so got three of them to open so let's have a look first at this one so this is an amazon one i believe this is amazon germany so let's see what's in here i think this uh, was a deal that i saw quite recently i think i've already got this set I decided to buy three more because it's on the retirement list and it's kind of hit my target price I believe the one that I was aiming for uh, if this is the set what I'm thinking it is so let's find out yeah it is it's still using my trusted screwdriver I'm not going to change box condition is okay even though the outer box is a bit crushed but we've got three of the Tokyo architecture sets now I mentioned I already have these before RRP is £55 in the UK. Oh, don't buy that price. It's often around 40, low 40s um, on Amazon. Uh, but I ended up buying Amazon Germany when it was a recent deal. And it hit below £38, I think, for this. Might be like £36, £37. That's when I bought it. Um, my target price for this one is around £38 or less. So it is on the rumoured retirement list. So that's why I got... Three more, so yeah, that's one, two, and there's the third one, so they'll be going to my storage unit at some point. Put that there. That's box one. Now what's behind door number two? Well, we got this box, and I think this is from the entertainer uh entertainer so the toyshop.com uh my first ever order from the entertainer online now i've noticed that uh, it's also the first time i covered them in friday lego deals because they had they never usually have deals on well they have deals on toys but never lego it usually always has the the caveat saying excludes lego well they currently have a voucher on it says save 10 pounds if you spend uh, 40 pounds so I did check that one and it was available for Lego as well. Um, the problem is now, when well, by the time I did my Friday Lego deals, a lot of the things uh, online were kind of sold out and you were like dependent on the availability in store to go pick up and most stores only have like a stock of one or something so it's not worth it. But let's have a look to see what the quality of the box is like. Most of my followers will kind of know already on Discord what I got. Well this is looking promising. Look at this packaging. That's nicely packaged so far. A layer of bubble wrap. Oh. In case you forgot where you ordered it from, there's actually a list with some offers. No Lego though. No, it's all more like garden toys. But here we go. We've got two of the classic Batmobiles. And these are an excellent quality condition so thumbs up to the entertainer so yeah two of these in case you're wondering there's you know there's two of them uh so they were 29 was it 29.99 each um so yeah uh so clearly qualified for the 10 pounds off so in the end i spent 50 pounds for two of them free shipping as well so i'm not going to complain about that uh 
interesting one. Now, last week, uh, if you've seen last week's vlog, these were in store in Brighton in the entertainment. They had one. And the description of this is actually there. It says, rare Batmobile. Even they know it's uh, quite a difficult one to find. So, yeah. All good and well. Let's open the final box, which arrived at DPD yesterday. And there's my... Uh, my good old delivery driver, David. I hadn't seen him in a while because I've been a different driver, but uh, he's ever so friendly. Uh, you know, we had a discussion last night on the, um, the Discord about delivery drivers, and I must say I'm very fortunate with both my every, former Hermes, and uh, my delivery driver from uh, DPD. So what have we got in here? These are just gift for purchase by the looks of it. So we've got a brick head. The, is it, I think it's a cockatiel, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, this was the using a voucher code from uh, was it the, the Telegraph, I believe. So, freebie. We've also got one of these. I've got a few of these now already. And lo and behold, what we showed earlier, uh, this one, but still in the box. So, yeah, I like I think it's a really good set. They've done an excellent job on this one. That's the deliveries. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this uh, vlog, every uh, week we do a giveaway for an Amazon uh, gift voucher for a new subscriber. So we're just about to do the draw. You know, we do this pre-recorded based on people who have first recently subscribed. And this one is between people who subscribe between the 10th of June and the 17th of June. So if your name pops up, just leave a comment in the section below, uh, you know, as part of this video, and then we'll get in touch to, to arrange um, you know how we do the transaction to give you the voucher but yeah uh good luck to everybody when you do subscribe and you're a new subscriber make sure that your profile is visible or something in the settings that you need to make sure that it's visible so we can see you actually subscribed and don't go unsubscribe and resubscribe because we do track to people who do that so we're only considering new entries and for this week we've got 26 people so let's get on with it and let's do the actual draw for this one so yeah good luck everybody and we've got our wheel uh, to spin and we're going to start the spinning of the wheel and whoever wins here uh, please leave a comment so we can get in touch and the person who won wins is looks like it's Eric so congratulations Eric uh, please leave a comment as part of this video and then we'll uh, sort out um, this prize for you thank you and to all other new uh, subscribers uh, thanks for your support there's loads of other giveaways so uh, because you haven't won this one doesn't mean that you might not win in future giveaway competitions so yesterday uh we're sunday today uh lego did the uh, lego con now um this was much better than last year so my expectation for this year were only well it needs to improve versus last year and it definitely did right so uh, i just wanted to share a few things from from lego con i didn't do a deliberate like special video on it uh, i just wanted to share in this week's vlogs my thoughts and some of the news that was there so uh it was good to see, you know, different presenters as well. I think Vic Hope did a real good job. The other guy was a bit of, I don't know, mixed mixed bag, shall we say. Uh, but overall, I think they delivered with the fact that they did some Lego reveals. And uh, the Lego Masters, I think that wasn't really Lego Masters. I think a lot of that stuff was probably pre-built. But hey, it was better than last year, right? So some of the things that, that was really interesting were the Lego reveals. So there's, a, there's four sets I'm going to cover that most probably of you have seen already, but I thought I'll share you my views as well. So the first one is the Marvel Sanctum Sanctorum 76218 with 2,708 pieces and nine minifigures for 215 pounds. I thought that was quite a reasonable price. I thought it was going to be more for that set. It's coming out the 1st of August here in the UK. Uh, probably one that I will keep an eye out for that I might get in the future. Not so much because I'm a Marvel fan, but more of the fact that I think this kind of integrates into a city as well, the modular feel as well. Um, yeah, I, I really like the look of that one. So uh, definitely one to put on my list. The next one was uh, a nostalgic set, which is the Galaxy Explorer. And I actually saw the old one when I went to Lego House uh, two weeks ago. So this is set number 10497. I don't remember this set from my childhood. I kind of just missed it. I wasn't really that much into the space stuff either. But a new one that came out is uh, 1,254 pieces, four minifigures, and a reasonable 90 pounds. I think that one's going to be very popular, especially with the adult community who are of a certain age. I remember this set from their childhood and they'll want to build this and bring it back. So that one as well is coming out the 1st of August. Now for me, 
I'm probably not going to bother with that one. It just, I'm not that fussed about it personally, but I can see why people will love it, right? And then they also revealed the new theme of Avatar, although this had leaked quite a bit already. Uh, this is set number 75574, which is Toruk Makto and the Tree of Souls. Um, I'm not sure what to think about this. For me, it's a bit of a miss. Um, I think the minifigures are cool because they're quite unique, obviously, because they're pretty much designed just for the Avatar theme. They are kind of taller than the average minifigure as well. Uh, this set has 1,212 pieces and four minifigures, uh, and it's 130 pounds and comes out the 1st of October, according to the LEGO website. For me, I'm not going to buy it. It's It just doesn't appeal to me. It's one of those sets I would only consider buying if it comes at a significant discount. It, it I just Even the Avatar movie, when it came out, you know, I watched it. And I didn't really see the, the big buzz about it, even though it's the biggest grossing movie of all time. At least that was at some point. I'm not sure if it still is. But, yeah, it's... I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to move on. I know there's probably going to have uh, lots of different opinions on, on the movie and on the Lego sets as well, right? And then the final one, which is by far the biggest blockbuster. And this was, um, you know, as part of uh, a poll that Lego did last year, they asked the fans... What set should they kind of, what themes should they bring back for uh, the 90th anniversary of Lego? And it was overwhelmingly voted to have like the castle medieval theme. So the set that came out was 10305, which is the Lion Knight's castle. And wow, what a beauty that is, right? So it's coming out on the 8th of October, called, uh, 8th of August, according to the Lego website. It comes with 4,514 pieces and 22 minifigures. Now that is a lot. It's got lots of playability factors as well that were shared on um, you know the Lego Con, and I think it's reasonable three hundred forty five pounds for that many pieces. I thought it was going to be closer to four hundred, so um, I think it's it's reasonable. Like of course it's not a cheap set, but for the amount of pieces and uh, minifigures that you're getting, I think it's decent value for money. Will I pick it up? Hmm. I probably it will end up buying it at some point. When I don't know. Again, looking for a discount, great, good for purchase, double VIP. Who knows? Maybe a combination deal of them all. But yeah, it's, it's a beautiful looking set, I must say. Um, but it's not high on my wish list necessarily. It's not something that I need to buy at day one. But overall, I think Lego Con was a big success. So big thumbs up to to Lego. I uh, still think they could do a few improvements as always, but uh, if we look at it versus last year, there was no DJing Llama. So from my perspective, that is already a big bonus. But yeah, well done, Lego Con. Keep up the good work, and I can't wait to see what you guys bring next year, right? So a few final updates from my perspective. Uh, some Eagle viewers might have already seen in a video that announced that, uh, you know, we do a lot of part out value analysis. Now we've got the part out value data available for Australia, which we announced. Uh, but we're also pleased to announce that now we have data available for our friends in Canada. So yes, we now do part out value data on our Patreon membership for, uh, you know, in Canadian dollars. So if anyone's interested, go check out our Patreon uh, profile because there we do give you all that data on a monthly basis. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's, five, it's a fiver a month. So uh, for anyone interested, go check that out. We plan on doing a, a similar video for Canada like we did for Australia just to notify the people as well. But yeah. Apart from that, uh, I'm waiting for more LEGO deliveries uh, next week because clearly we're waiting for some more deliveries to arrive. And um, yeah, we shall see then what brings next week, right? But yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.